Welcome to Caulfield's Counter, I'm Jerome. I know it's been a long time, but I'm back with a video. And this particular video is about tackling a heavy beard. Now, if you have a heavy beard, you're gonna need all the help you can get. I purposely let this beard grow out for about a week and a half to two weeks, and I'm going to hopefully come out of this video clean shaven and uncut. Now I'll be using three products in this video. The first product is the Bulldog Original Face Wash. I can't say enough good things about this product. It's natural and it's very gentle on the skin. Second product will be a pre-shave oil and this one is the Beta Naturals All-in-One Clean Shave Oil and Moisturizer. This is the lavender version. It's a fantastic all-in-one product and it's all natural. And then I'll be using the Bulldog Original Shave Gel. Wonderful natural product that smells great. It has bergamot as well as patchouli, and a number of other great scents. Love it. So what are we waiting for? Let's get down to business. Getting rid of this beard involves a four step process. Prep, cleanse, shave, and moisturize. Now, part of the prepping will involve using clippers to help get rid of the beard's length. Now if I decided to go without the clippers, it would still be possible to get rid of this beard, but it would take longer and it would just take a lot more effort. I would have to rinse the blade so often, it would be very time consuming. So I'm going to bypass that and go for the clippers. So here we go. Now that my beard is less dense, it's time to move on to cleansing. Now when you're cleansing, I suggest either first taking a shower to warm up your face and open the pores, or use warm water. Just make sure it's not too warm so that it doesn't dry out your skin. That's the whole point, is to warm it up but not to dry out. So let's go ahead and start washing the face. And what I'm using is the Bulldog Original Face Wash. Just apply small amounts and work it between the palms and fingers. And go ahead and work onto the skin, as well as the area around the beard. I want to get rid of all the loose hairs. Clean out the debris. And when you're cleansing, be gentle. Normally I simply use these two fingers because they're not as strong as, let's say, the index fingers. So that seems adequate. It's time to rinse. Before applying the pre-shave oil, I actually prefer to leave my skin damp. That way, when you're applying the pre-shave oil and shave gel, you're sealing in uh, the moisture so that you have a much more comfortable shave. Let's go ahead and apply the shave oil. I will pump the shave oil into my palms and simply work in to the beard to soften it up. I'll go ahead and use a couple more pumps. Doesn't hurt. And I'm comfortable with that. That has covered the area of the beard. This pre-shave oil will act as a buffer between the skin and the shave oil, or I'm sorry, the shave gel and the razor. So up next is a layer of shave gel. What I'm gonna do is apply a nice amount of shave oil. 
I like the Bulldog shave, uh, shave Gel. Sorry, I keep calling it Shave Oil. I like the Bulldog Original Shave Gel because it's clear. And it doesn't foam up a whole lot. I apply it by hand. Some people like to use a brush. Um, the only thing with using a brush is it foams up, so you can't really see exactly what you're cutting. It's a all matter of preference, but that's my preference, is to use a shave gel or cream that doesn't foam up a whole lot. I have a shave brush, but I don't use it too much. All right. I think that will provide an adequate layer of protection between my razor and my skin. Fingers crossed, I don't get cut. I doubt it. So the razor I'm using is actually um, old school Gillette Tech. And wish me luck. And as you're shaving, it's perfectly fine to like, rub the shave gel and shave oil over the area that you just shaved. That's the cool thing about this. To help it soothe that freshly shaven skin. It doesn't feel dry at all. It's still it's very soft. Be gentle, especially when you're using an old school double edge razor. And rinse often. Looks like I'm just about done here. Seems very smooth. That thick beard is gone. All I need to do is rinse. Now it's very important that after you shave, you properly moisturize. The great thing about one of the products that I'm using, the Beta Naturals Clean Shave Oil and Moisturizer, is it also acts as a post-shave product. It also moisturizes. It not only acts as a pre-shave oil, but it also acts as an aftershave. So I will apply a couple of pumps into my palms and go ahead and nourish that freshly shaven skin. And man, does that feel a lot better. That feels great. You can right away tell that the product is soothing the skin. You don't have any sort of irritation or rawness. And I'm just gonna apply some to the forehead and the brow. Since I washed that area as well, don't neglect those parts, especially in the neck. Don't neglect the neck and you should be all set. Feels great to take off 10 years with just a razor and a few great skincare products. Now once again, to tackle heavy beards, I suggest taking the four steps, which are prep, cleanse, shave, and moisturize. You take those four steps and you're good to go, especially if you have a thick beard. Now let me go over, once again, the products that I used. First of all, I cleansed with the Bulldog Original Face Wash. And then as a pre-shave oil, I used the Beta Naturals All-in-One Clean Shave Oil and Moisturizer. I also used this product as a moisturizer or aftershave moisturizer after I shaved. And the Bulldog Original Shave Gel. Really enjoyed using this product because it's clear and doesn't foam up too much so you know exactly where you're shaving. 
provides great protection between the razor and your skin. Well, I hope you found this video to be both educational and entertaining. For more tips on men's skincare, please visit caulfieldscounter.com where I help dudes with their skin. Thanks for watching.